to start he's going to drive against Booker. He's going to drive, sell a finishing move, and once he gets both defenders in the air, he's going to drop the pass out to Valentinus for an easy finish. Brandon Ingram is a lot stronger than I believe people actually think he is because he does have a pretty slim frame, but he is the definition of tough. And you'll see on this play, he gets an and one against a defensive player of the year candidate, Mikhail Bridges. And Ingram is the NBA's version of a quiet anime character that's a lot stronger than people think. I also think Brandon Ingram has been a pretty good passer in his NBA career. I feel like that's something that has made him very underrated. And I think that this isn't a special play by any stretch of the imagination, but it is a good read that he is always willing to make. Another great example of his passing ability, he's going to draw the help defense. He's going to notice this, notice open man in the corner, skip past the Herb Jones, hits him right in the suitor's pocket, which I found very impressive. And even though that Herb Jones decides to jab on this play, regardless of that, this was a play created by Ingram in my opinion, and again, really just highlights that he's a pretty good passer. This is just another play that really highlights that he's a lot tougher than his frame suggests, and he's a lot stronger than his frame suggests as he attacks the basket with really no fear, and that's been a consistent theme, I believe, in Ingram's career, where when he attacks the basket, it's not like he fears defenders. On this play, we're going to see his patented pull-up mid-range jumper. He's one of the better pull-up shooters in the league and one of the better mid-range shooters in the league so it's bound to happen in a career night he's going to have a play like this this is not an ideal shot or an efficient shot in normal context but in the situation that ingram's in when the shot clock is starting to dwindle down a little bit and more importantly he feels that he's drawn contact and he's as good of a tough shot maker as he is it's a play worth taking, and when you're a tough shot maker, you make tough shots like this. Another play where he shows off his class and ability, not as much strength, I believe on this play, a little more speed involved, but still a play that shows that he is a very good slasher. Ingram is capable as a catch and shoot guy. He's not the best catch and shoot player by any stretch of the imagination. A lot of his offense is self-created, but I do think that it's not like he's a lost cause off ball, and I think that there are a few plays in this game that really show that off. This is a play where he just has very good awareness, full court pass, notices that the defense isn't fully caught up yet, takes advantage of that. It's what a good passer does, and I've stated before that I think Ingram's a pretty good passer. This was my favorite play of the night from him. He's going to get the offensive rebound. He's going to balance along the baseline like an airbender would. And he's going to find Herb Jones for an easy finish. This isn't the best play of the night. I think that there are definitely better plays of him. But I do think it is a play that really shows that he was doing everything in order to help New Orleans get the victory. Another easy read in transition where he catches the defense sleeping. Another play that I really think so is that he has a good understanding of the square and gravity. He's going to notice the help defense that he draws, that he's the focus on the play. He notices Nance is going to be at the basket, throws a very accurate lob, and Nance is able to finish. This is another catch and shoot rug, but this time it's more from his actual comfort zone, which is the mid-range. Just a good play where he runs in transition for an easy finish. Not much to say here. Really like how he sells the drive on this play, gets Cam Johnson to commit as a help defender, open man in the corner, gives him a 3 to extend the lead and really give them more momentum. I don't know how at this point in the game you're letting him get open look. He's been torching you all night in so many ways and leaving them open for a corner 3 which basically any player that can shoot can hit an open corner 3. Probably not your smartest idea. He's not the next Kevin Durant. He's never been the next Kevin Durant. He's always been the first Brandon Ingram. He's been a unique player in his own right. Has carved his own path. And just because he was tall and skinny, never meant that he was supposed to be the next Kevin Durant. And in the league, he's carved out his own legacy, and I'm really happy about that. However, I would be lying if I said that he didn't look like Kevin Durant on this play, because I'm gonna be honest, he really looks like Kevin Durant on this play. His last made field goal in this game is a signature mid-range jumper, and I couldn't think of a more fitting final field goal for him to make in this game, and it was just one of many ways he just destroyed the Suns today. 
for last night actually. I really just enjoyed this performance because it really showed what England is as a player. Somebody that is an all-around good player that's capable of dominating in multiple facets of the game. Somebody that was very strong as a finisher. Somebody that was very good as a mid-range shooter. Someone that can isolate. Somebody that can hit threes. Somebody that can draw fouls. Someone that doesn't let his smaller frame take away from what he's capable of doing. He's mentally very tough, one of the toughest players in the league, and I don't think he gets enough credit for that. He also showed that he's a pretty good passer. I've always been very high on his ability to pass the basketball, and it really was something that he showed tonight. Didn't do anything special as a passer, but did enough. And what enough is, is understanding your screwing gravity and using that to get your teammates open looks, and he was able to do that, I felt, for the most part. Especially when Booker went out, and I hope Booker is able to come back and be healthy. Ingram was the best player on the floor. I don't really think it was close. And he really dominated the game, and it was very fun to watch. And I'm finally glad people are starting to see, because I'm not saying Ingram's some unknown player, but he has been kind of overshadowed by other popular players on his team at times in the past, or really just not being on a winning team. And... I think that it's finally fully being appreciated. I think most people appreciate it, but I think it's now fully being appreciated, especially after a game like that against the odds-on favorite to win the title.